Hi, Gemini. Welcome in. The details to this reading are located in the description box, but be sure to only take what resonates and leave what does not resonate for someone else. I'll be pulling you a surrender card at the end, and then we'll pull some cards for their sign, the sign you are dealing with. But we're just going to see what whatever comes out. Let's see what's going on with you, Gemini. Thank you guys so much for liking the video. I appreciate it. Let's see. What is the message for Gemini? Oof. Okay. There's somebody having a tower moment here. Uh, all right. There's somebody here. You were really in their head. Okay. They're wondering what you've been up to, Gemini, or where you're at. Somebody's wondering where you're at. And when they're going to see you again. Like, I'm, I'm getting like, I can't wait to see you again. Energy from this, okay? I feel like you've given this person so much space, Gemini. Whether intentionally or unintentionally, you've given someone so much space, it has made their imagination run wild about you, Gemini. For sure. Their imagination is just highlighting all of your best features. You know, they really have you on a pedestal here, wanting a new beginning with you, Gemini. Let's see. What else for Gemini? What else for Gemini? I'm just hearing like their imagination is running wild. Okay. I'm not saying you're not amazing, Gemini. You're, you're amazing. This person thinks you're even more amazing. Okay. <laughs> just because they can't wait to see you again. I feel like they've had a lot of space and time to really build you up in their mind, Gemini. Let's see, what else? What's the main message for Gemini? Seven of Swords, okay. And then we have the moon at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Cups. Three of Wands. Somebody is secretly pining over you, okay? I'm going to clarify this Seven of Swords, but the energy for what you can't see is there someone has hidden feelings for you. They feel a lot stronger than they're letting on. Ace of Wands. There's a strong desire here to come forward and be authentic with you and start something here. Okay, and then we have the Empress again. So... What is the Seven of Swords? I'm getting it's their strong hidden feelings, okay? They're trying to be sneaky about this. We have the Page of Swords, Nine of Wands. Somebody's watching the door. I'm just getting like someone watches the door, waiting for you to arrive, or... Let's see. Why the Seven of Swords? Five of Cups, yeah. So I'm getting like they're secretly disappointed, okay, that this might not work out between you two. You're unpredictable to this person. I feel like somebody here has been let down constantly because you're not showing up the way they want you to show up. Yeah, and they miss you. Six of Cups. So I'm getting like somebody can't wait to see you again. And there's these hidden feelings. The the Seven of Swords, of course, could be deception. If if you're involved in some sort of deception, you know your situation better than anyone else. What I'm getting out of the tarot reading is this person is secretly pining over you. And they have these hidden feelings of disappointment that that they're not seeing you. That they haven't seen you or they're not they're not seeing you the way they want to see you. Okay. And there's a strong energy here of somebody feeling like you're very compatible with them. Like this is like someone that's like, well, Gemini is more compatible with me than anyone else. Gemini should be with me.
And there's this feeling of like losing, like somebody feels like they're losing you or you're, you're getting away from them, but they're keeping this a secret. They're keeping this to themselves. And I feel like they're really good at hiding it. How does Gemini see this person? How do you see them? How do you see them, Gemini? I just saw the tower. Some of you guys see this situation as very unexpected. Let's see. The ten of pentacles. You could see someone as successful. Okay, or this has the potential to, you know, you have the potential to build something successful with this person. A lot of you Geminis are just focused on your money, though. Okay, it's like you can't see anything but your money. The sun, you, this person makes you happy. Gemini. Leo energy, Aquarius is here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. So you see them as someone who would be worthy to commit to, or, you know, you think very highly of this person. There's obviously attractive qualities and the sun being how you feel, like you feel very positive toward this person. Like they have your full attention. Some of you guys, this is, they're like the center of your attention here. And you're thinking about all the possibilities you two could be justice card. We got Libra energy. To be a Libra involved somehow. You could be trying to practice integrity. Whatever that means for your particular situation. It's almost like you're trying to remain mature and balanced and not get ahead of yourself. But the truth of the matter is you both like each other. Okay. Okay. You both see great, uh, well, you definitely see great potential in this person and they miss you. Let's see, how do they see you? For some of you guys, there is a small portion of you. Um, you could possibly see this person as in another situation. Okay, and some of you guys could possibly see this person as you know the truth about their situation whatever that might mean for you, but you genuinely just see this person as successful. Okay. For most of you, but just take what resonates. How do they see Gemini? How do they see you, Gemini? Who they see you as the queen of swords that you are someone to take seriously. Okay. That's Libra energy, but they see you as someone who is very strong and that you do have a lot of respect for yourself. You're direct with your communication or you come across that way. Like you say what you mean and you mean what you say type energy. They see you as powerful, Gemini. Like you have this captivating presence to you. How do they feel about Gemini? The world. They think the world of you. Okay. There could be some distance. They feel like you're a little distant. Some of you guys, they could feel like you're traveling and that's why they haven't seen you or they could be speculating that. Let's see. But they want you, Gemini. They're hoping it's mutual, even though you've been distant lately or there's some distance there. We got fixed energy, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo. Libra is also here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Earth. All right, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But it's like, they're hoping that even though you've been distant, that their feelings are mutual. Like their feelings for you are being returned. I'm just getting like someone wants to, yeah. They're hoping that you also have stronger feelings for them than you let on. So this is just a case of you... You and someone like each other, but I feel like there hasn't been a lot expressed. I think you may be on the cautious side here with the justice card. Um, you see someone's qualities, like you can see all their good traits, but you're wondering what's underneath the surface. Clearly with that justice card, you're like, okay, well, there's probably more truth than what I'm seeing. 
you're definitely thinking you're seeing someone in their best light, things like that. They have these secret feelings for you and they're hoping that you secretly also feel the same, even though there's been some distance. King of Cups. I feel like, guys, with the distance, it's making their, it's making their feelings stronger for you, Gemini. Got Pisces energy here. So what are their next actions towards Gemini? Okay. They want to get to a better place with you. Clarify. Ten of Swords. Interesting. They're wanting to overcome whatever this pain is. I don't know what the pain is. The pain could be the separation or their distance, but there's definitely someone wanting to offer you a new beginning. Six of Swords. They're being guided towards you. But there's some sort of pain in the process of you two communicating with one another. Some of you guys, the pain is having to end another situation somewhere else to get to each other. But their next actions, uh, what are they putting an end to here? A relationship, Ten of Cups. They could have been speaking with someone else or they could have had other options, okay? They don't want to miss an opportunity with you. That's clear with the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. They don't want it to be a missed opportunity with you. So they're willing to walk away from something else, okay? I'm not sure if they're in a commitment with someone else or if they've just been dealing with other options or this could just be their singlehood. I see communication coming in from this person, but they're going to be in their head a little bit first because this person's kind of feeling stuck and insecure. They're not quite sure how to strike up. What needs to be said? What's Gemini's advice? Somebody's trying to manifest a relationship with you, Gemini. A full-blown commitment. But I do feel like there's some pain in the process. That pain could be ending something somewhere else or ending a mindset. But they're wanting to get to a better place with you and resolve this. Which Gemini's advice? Try not to be too confusing, okay? Seven of Cups. Gemini, you have other options too, by the way. Your advice is to not hold on to things so tightly. That's, I mean, do what you want with that information, but you clearly have multiple options coming towards you, especially in 2023. I feel like a lot of you guys might be fighting off the options. Some of you guys are having some sort of glow up here or there's something about your energy that just is attracting your, your magnet here. Okay. Especially in the beginning of 2023, but your guides are saying not to hold on to situations too tightly. Okay. And, and also just be aware of your other options and try not to be too confusing. Your guides are wanting you to, um, Kind of get clear with yourself on what it is you're looking for. That way you don't confuse others. And don't allow other people to confuse you. It says surrender to rest and sleep, Gemini, uh, to prevent burnout, slow down. Honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. So, your guides are wanting you to find time to take a step back occasionally and also prioritize your rest, your sleep, so you can be more productive. Um, and also just always needing to be productive. You know, that's not, that's not, you don't need to always be productive. Okay. But I feel like if you're wanting to be even more productive and level-headed, it's very important to rest and sleep, Gemini. Let's see, what does this person want to say to Gemini? They wish things could be different, is what they want to say to you, Gemini. So they wish things could be different between the both of you. Easier, right? Um, I think they like the chase, though, I have to say they might not even realize that they actually like hunting you, chasing you. That's what they like. You're just not allowing someone to become complacent here is what it is. Let's see. 
We're going to do Aries through Pisces for Gemini. Aries through Pisces for Gemini. This is if you're dealing with this sign. I do see some justice coming in for you, Gemini. I feel like you guys are going to be coming into some sort of money or there's a financial situation that is going to be looking up for you. Things will be balanced out. If you're worried about uh, something being imbalanced, I do see a situation, especially financially, things balancing out for you very soon. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aries, this Aries really likes you. Okay, I, I feel like this Aries, they think highly of you. They want a relationship with you of some kind. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles can talk about uh, leaving behind a legacy. It can talk about committing to another person. So there is an Aries here that definitely wants commitment from you. If you're dealing with a Taurus, the Taurus wants to work it out. If you're dealing with another Gemini, they want to pursue you. There could possibly be another Gemini that would like to apologize to you, but there is a Gemini here that's wanting to pursue you. They think you are in, they're crazy about you. All right. If you're dealing with a cancer, I'm getting a cancer losing hope for the situation right now. They feel like they've let you down majorly, okay, and they're losing hope. If you're dealing with a Leo, the Leo is closed off. I feel like the Leo is having a difficult time making a decision. If you're dealing with a Virgo, uh, they're very stubborn. This Virgo is having a hard time, uh, you know, seeing your side of the situation or just bending at all. Like the, the Virgo is not, there's a stalemate here. If you're dealing with a Libra, the Libra wants more movement. So the Libra is wanting this something to take off between you two. They want movement. Um, I feel like they're just ready to move into like the next level with you. Okay. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they, you have their full attention. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they want to talk to you. I, I feel like the Sagittarius is wanting to get to know you further. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Capricorn wants to communicate. There's a strong desire to tell you something. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, this Aquarius may act detached and cold. Nine of Cups, but they want you. You're a wish for theirs, okay? But I'm getting like they have a tendency to close off, act cold, detached. It's their defense mechanism. If you're dealing with a Pisces, the Pisces thinks you're moving on. Okay, there's been some distance between you and a Pisces. All right, Gemini, those are your messages. Until next time, bye.